Hey, punch up the shot at Ridley Park. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, we're on duck watch. Uh, we have a live camera out there, Ridley Park Lake. We're have zooming you... in. Oh, whoa, whoa. that's not it. No, that's not. It's a regular duck. So Brian Quinlan uh, is on the phone with us now. Avid birder, and he happens to be a fifth grade teacher at Bethel Springs Elementary School. That's in uh, Garnet Valley. Uh, Brian, thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. Good morning. Now, are you eager or have you yet been over to Ridley Park Lake? Well, I was over there in mid-January, uh, the first time that I saw the duck. And actually, it ended up being the only time that I saw the duck, because not long after that I photographed it, uh, the lake froze over, and not just the mandarin duck, but all the ducks had cleared out. Okay. So, what is this thing about yesterday? Was, was it spotted again? Have you heard? Uh, I've not heard 100% uh, for sure what, when the last spotting was. Uh, I've heard people say that they've seen it since I have. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all the time to keep running back yeah, to Ridley Park Lake to check it out. But well, uh, tell us more about this. It, it's, it's from East Asia. How would a duck like this get to the USA? Well, great question. So the, the Mandarin duck kind of has a complex history. Uh, it is from that region of the world. And oddly enough, in that region, it's a species in decline due to habitat oh. loss mm. and also through the pet trade, people collecting them and bringing them here this to the United States. Pet. So here in the United States, aside from uh, isolated populations in California and North Carolina, pretty much any mandarin duck that you find outside of those two areas, you can assume to be an escapee from captivity, whether it's someone's farm or someone that owns it as a pet, because people will keep them as pets. Not only are they strikingly handsome, but they're also very docile and friendly birds. Mm. So how far did they travel? Is it possible, since we've been looking at the lake here and we haven't seen it yet, that maybe he's moved on somewhere else? Well, one of the great things about birding in Philadelphia is that there's so many great bodies of water for waterfowl, and this time of year being winter, uh, this duck could very well have jumped to the Delaware River. It could have jumped to nearby John Hines National Wildlife Refuge. Mm -hmm. It could very well have gone back to wherever it came from, uh, maybe someone's house. I'm uh, not totally sure. Brian, it seems more like a, like a perching duck. Is it a good flyer? Uh, it's a pretty decent flyer. People keep them as pets, of course, as I said before, yeah. and if you don't pinion their wings, meaning that you clip a feather to make sure they, they can yeah. fly long distances, they can fly. And oddly enough, the mandarin duck in its native range is a tree-nesting duck. They nest in holes in trees, cavities, as hmm. they call them. So if we're out there now looking around, we have our live camera, we see other ducks, you know, feeding, where would, the, would this duck be willing to be out in the open or would it be hiding in the weeds? Uh, this duck in particular, I bet's going to be out in the open. It's a pretty, like I said before, a pretty friendly duck. And with all these mallards being so actively feeding, this mandarin duck's not going to want to miss out on any of the yeah. good food from the lake. Hey, Brian, from the lake did, visitors. did you go up to New York to the pond in Central Park? Oh, I definitely thought about it, for sure. Oh, yeah. Once the one showed up here locally, it saved me a trip. No. It did. Mike was wondering earlier, could this duck mate with a different species of duck? Like a North American wood duck. Well, they are closely related to wood duck. Uh, as far as their hybridization goes, I don't know much about that. Uh, I'm sure it could try. I don't know how successful it would be, though. Well, they call it the hot duck, Brian. You know <laughs> what I mean? I mean, have you seen it? It is a hot duck. It's <laughs> very hot. Thank you so much for joining us. We uh, appreciate it. I bet it's you'll see Brian out by Ridley Park Lake this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be there. Thank you for having me. Say, you uh, say hi to your class as well. Yes. Thank you, Brian. Hey, thank you very much.